On Wednesday, June 29, 2016, at approximately 10 in the morning, the social worker, Miss Jennifer, was scheduled to conduct a bi-weekly visit for Kara, her client. This is a routine home visit to assess the safety and well-being of the child. Hi guys, how are you today? Hi, how are you? Good, how was your weekend? It was awesome. Yeah, what did you guys fun. do? We did some family stuff. We went to the beach. Yeah, with the friends. Yeah, just hanging out with the family. How's school? It's good. She, my mom was just helping me with my homework. Okay. Before you came in. Okay. Yeah, but you know. Everything okay in the house? Everything is fine. She's doing better. I mean, you know, we're still your typical current attitude and things of that nature that we're still working on. Right, Kayla? Yeah. Okay. We're still trying to work on that, but. You remember how the last visit we talked about giving each other our spaces, even if it's five minutes, ten minutes? Mm -hmm. If you're having a tough day, just tell mom, hey, mom, I'm not having a good day. Can I have some personal space? And then you guys do the same. Just keep practicing that, okay? Okay. Yes. We we're trying. It's not easy, you know, everyday lives, you know, stress factors, things of that nature. It's not that easy, but we're trying. We're trying. She's a very smart girl. She knows she when right smart. from wrong. She does. <laughs> she really does. But we're trying to get her to start acting out on right. these things because it seems as as though she she's just acting off of impulse. Right. And she's not thinking about her actions before she's doing it. So that's what we're trying to work on. But for the most part, yes, we had a wonderful Kara, do you know why sometimes you give mom a little attitude? Is something bothering you? I just, I get really frustrated sometimes and sometimes I just don't want to do the things that she asks me to do and then it makes me mad. Okay. We're going to try to find other ways to address the problem instead of, you know, yelling at mom, telling her you hate her or stomping your feet because I've seen you do that a couple of times and you know that's not okay. I know, I know. She does a lot for you. I just can't help it sometimes. I don't know. Oh, I'm so sorry. You want to anything to drink or anything? I'm sorry to ask you. Water is fine. Okay, I'm sorry. Excuse my manners. I'm sorry. It's fine. So what's going on? I really need to tell you something, but you have to promise not to tell anybody. What do you have to tell me? Never mind, because I, I know you're going to tell somebody and I don't want to get anyone in trouble. That's okay. You can tell me what's going on. Are you okay? Do you want to step outside and we can talk? Yeah, I think we should just talk outside. Okay. Miss Dominique, we're gonna step outside, okay? Oh, okay. Is everything all right? Everything's fine. I'm just gonna talk to Kara outside. Oh, okay. All right. All right. The social worker and the client walk outside to talk. The caregiver remains in the home. What's going on, Kara? Well, I just, I really don't want to say anything because I, really think someone's gonna get in trouble but you see the one time my mom just she put her hands on me put a put her hands on you like how when did this happen are you okay i'm fine it happened a couple like a month ago maybe but she got mad at me because i was doing my stomping thing and yelling at her and rolling my eyes but she hit me with a belt okay so, I know that you don't want me to tell anybody anything, but you know, based off of what you just told me, I do have to call my supervisor, right? Just to make sure everything's okay, that you're safe. We just have to follow protocol, okay? The social worker returns inside and asks the child to remain on the porch. The social worker approaches Miss Dominique to discuss the disclosure. So I'm going to 
tall child of mine. I'm going to report so you to her that I hit you. <laughs> I, I told her, I just told her that you hit me with a belt that one time, like a month ago. And did you tell her why I hit you with a belt, right? Yeah, I said the whole stomping thing and rolling my eyes. and. Okay. So, protocol is, I just spoke to my supervisor. She said that I have to take her to the ER despite when it happened, just to make sure that, you know, she doesn't have any marks on her. So, I'll call child line. DHS will get a report and they will follow up with you. But until then, we'll place her in respite. Okay, Kara, rest for this one where you're just gonna go temporarily until I can put you back in mom's home, okay? No! No, I hate you. I hate you. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not leaving it's my mom. Okay. No! The it's caregiver holds you. on to the child and tells the child everything will be okay. No. I am not mad at you. You wanted to just tell the truth. I love you, mommy. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. No! I understand. No, I hate you. You're upset, but everything's gonna, gonna be okay. I'm gonna be right by you. We're just gonna go, make sure you're okay. And then I'm gonna drop you off and I'm gonna check up on you routinely just to make sure that you're okay. We're gonna go through this together, okay? The social worker and the client leave to go to the ER. The client is calm and listens to the social worker. 